Blessings, dear soul travelers, and welcome to the Priestess Prophecies. You're joining Priestess Melissa today. We're getting into a reading of the Spirit of the Animals totem cards. If I can shuffle them, they're a little big, as you can see. So usually I do it from the side because it just makes it easier for my small little hands. <laughs> All right, guys, so I hope you're doing well out there. Happy Tuesday, and welcome to the Priestess Prophecies. It is Priestess Melissa. Again, we're getting into the Spirit of the Animals Oracle Cards. As always, I like to know what kind of animals are you seeing out there? Or what kind of animals are in your area? Or what kind of animals do you like? Any of that, you know, share with me down in the comments below. All right, guys, let us tap in then to the Jack o' Lantern Tarot as well as the Black Tarot to get a little bit more clarity around this situation for today. And then we're going to bring in a new deck called the Inner F in Peace Cards, <laughs> and then we'll see what messages Spirit has for us around all of this for our advice moving forward. Do stick around to the end for your love message from the Lover's Oracle card. All right, guys, how you doing out there? I hope you're doing well. This is supposed to be an easier week energetically for everybody, so I do hope that that's playing out well for you. And that the dust is settling and you're now coming to this place where you're, you know, more peaceful and you've been strong enough to make those choices perhaps to, I don't know about you, but I've had a lot of passive aggressive people and manipulative people, people just not being completely honest and forthcoming. Uh, let me know if you're dealing with that kind of energy today too, because collectively I just feel like we're still having a little bit of power struggles you know, either holding on to something a little bit or, you know, completely letting something go or being at peace about something. Okay, watch your volume or cover your ears. <laughs> All right, thank you, Infinite Spirit. Blessings to the spirit animals, angels, ancestors, way showers, and guides. Please bring us the messages we most need today. Take a couple of nice, slow, deep breaths and relax. Blessings to all of you, and thank you so much for all of your likes, comments, shares, donations. Subscribe and hit the bell notification if you haven't already. It does keep the channel growing and keeps my videos in the algorithm. So like this video, especially if you get any messages from it today. And we just like the reading in general. All right, Spirit Animal Oracle. Now these animal, this animal can apply, uh, you, if you see this animal, oh there's a couple of them coming out, so we only want one card, but we did see the heron and the horse. So this is looking within to see what's going to move us more towards, you know, that freedom aspect of ourselves and really living our lives, you know, wild and free, if you will. Hummingbird and miracles. This is something um, that's definitely very popular in my area. I tend to see these in my backyard quite a bit feeding on my flowers and they are beautiful to watch. And what's interesting about these guys is they're the only bird that can fly backwards, all right? So it's like you got every direction covered with this, you know, as long as you stay in the right place, those miracles are coming through for you. Attitude of gratitude, I'm hearing. Three, 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 all right. So if you see hummingbirds today, whether in pictures or you know, you see one out in nature or just as you're walking or anything like that, this message is especially meant for you. You are the joy bringer. You bless the world with positivity and love. Energy soars on your shining wings. Spread the miracle of happiness. So this is talking about staying in that high vibe energy, you know, um, and the more that we go with the flow, you know, of things and you know, kind of like a Go in the direction that feels good, if you will. You know how they say, follow your bliss, and it means if it feels good, then most of the time, it really is the best direction to go. If it doesn't feel right, or you're feeling like your spidey senses are going off, this is when you would wanna pull back. But if it feels good, and things have been going well, whatever the situation is, then trust that your miracles are coming in. If hummingbird is your totem, you are a person of joy and you bring a smile to everyone you meet. Hummingbird takes away sorrow, worry, and sadness. And maybe this is a need for you to heal your worry and sadness. 444, four, four, you know, get your own stability in place so you can bring your own miracles in. Because I feel like you, um, maybe like me, like I'm very, 
I'm kind of like the happy person, you know what I mean? Um, but it's hard for me to find as many of those happy people that I can draw that nectar from. You know, those flowers out there, they may be hard to find <laughs> for you. So it's like you definitely need to make sure that you're recouping your energies regularly because we do you know tap in very strongly to our empathic side and put a lot of energy out in holding that space so definitely self-care is important here hummingbird medicine teaches us to let stress and troubles go when hummingbird appears it is a reminder to spend time in the garden drink from the sweet nectar of life and sorry <clears throat> and flit from flower to flower, helping to propagate all that is beautiful. Yeah, that is what helps this world to be even more wonderful to live in is when we can, you know, help encourage people to be more of the kinder spirit and just like pay it forward when you're kind and nice to people, you know, holding a door. You see this all the time and many times they'll hold it for the next person and there you go, you started a ripple there. All right, and then this is gonna come back to you for sure. Hummingbird people are the masters of healing with herbs, flowers, colorful stones, aromatherapy, and love. So incorporate any of those today to help rejuvenate yourself. If you have hummingbird as your totem, you naturally radiate the colors of the rainbow. Wow, so that means you gotta make sure you're focusing on all your chakras for healing. Cleansing them out each day, you know, you can just imagine those energy centers and you can find a chart if you need to. But just imagine those centers within your own body being cleansed and cleared with golden white light, all right? And make sure that you stay radiant. Your bright, cheerful presence and sweet laughter is a blessing to all you need. You are a person that creates happy life magic, yes. Hummingbird energy is associated with accomplishing that which seems impossible. And how do we do that? By staying in a high vibe, for sure. All right, so it says you can even fly upside down if hummingbird is, wow, I didn't know they could fly upside down. Uh, if hummingbird is your, <laughs> is in your life, you have the ability to see the good in all others and beauty wherever you go. Acceptance and love are the healing powers you offer by just being yourself, all right? People love you just the way you are, so don't change. You have a very high energy, which naturally uplifts others, but even hummingbirds need a rest, just like I was saying, so don't neglect your self-care. Take time with the flowers for renewal and never let others take away your joy, sparkle, or positivity. Happiness is who you are. So if these people are around you that you know make you feel less happy and things of that nature definitely limit your time with them and allow yourself to get out into nature like i was talking about maybe even get some flowers in your house all right because uh, i feel like you're somebody who really likes flowers too are you feeling caged open the door have you lost your joy visit the garden don't let worry dull your radiance let it go Fly away from anything that dims your happiness. I think that's what I'm gonna put in here uh, for the title. Fly away from anything that dims your happiness. Just like I said, limit your time with toxic people. Maybe that's what, something that you have been dealing with. Like I was talking about at the beginning of this, it's dealing with toxic people, you know, that do affect your energy. You don't wanna be, you know, affected by other people's energies, right? So let's take a look at this a little bit closer and see what's going on. Don't let others dim your light for sure. We got the Eight of Swords on the bottom. Yeah, don't let them keep you stuck and, you know, with this inability to see who you truly are and to know, more importantly, with that Eight. We got a cat here. It's all about feeling beautiful, knowing who you are, not allowing anyone to dim your light, all right? Let's cut the deck and see what's going on here, my dear soul travelers. On the bottom, we have two of pentacles in reverse. Very good to see because that means we're getting balanced now. You know, we're understanding how important it is to stay in that high vibe. And it is very important, especially if we want to see good things happen. Eight of cups. In the past, I see a walking away energy and, of course, cups. So it refers to 
um, perhaps again anything that doesn't make you feel good you know you're getting out of there and you're saying adios <laughs> deuces I don't know what he's holding a bone up there for but yeah it's almost like he's saying stay thee back from me <laughs> or I will curse you <laughs> Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This could be the energy that we're in at this time. You know, um, again, you know, because of something that we walked away from, it could have put us into this position. You know, whatever we were dealing with with that Queen of Pentacles in reverse, this is definitely a queen who has been thrown off of her stability. But I feel like you're regaining that, even though if right now you may still be in the reversed in the present position. Uh, because, you know, it is a loss whenever we have to walk away from something. Queen of Swords, ooh, definitely pissed off about something, whoever this is. And this could have been about some truth that you learned that caused you to walk away from something. Page of Pentacles, you're always going to know your value and self-worth, that's what I feel with this card. You're always going to choose you and your own balance. Five of Pentacles, yeah. Who's got time for that kind of life or energy? This is only something that would debilitate you, bring your health down, you know, continue to cause you to feel less and less. Not feeling that motivation and strength. Look at this guy lurking in the background with the Ace of Cups in reverse. You definitely got somebody watching you, maybe watching a blow up that's happening for you at this time. Seeing you do better for yourself. Eight of Cups. Somebody definitely tried to confuse you about walking away. And there is a Six of Cups energy here in reverse. Soulmate energy, right? There was something that you weren't seeing, something that somebody didn't want you to see. And so you decided, you know, not to take a chance with this person. Judgment in reverse. Walk away from the situation because it was too confusing is what I feel. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. We have an energy of the fool, absolutely. Something was telling you for sure that you needed to get out of there and go take a new path because this was not allowing you to heal. Star in reverse, Metatron energy here. These meteor showers raining down on you, not allowing you to be able to see clearly. King of swords in reverse. Definitely looks like the king was lying. <laughs> And you could have been dealing with the uh, king of, ooh, actually, this could be two queens that this king was dealing with if you're dealing with a, um, an air sign here, which would be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. And then this, same thing here, but this queen of pentacles here, they're both in reverse. It's very interesting. I feel like you could be the queen of pentacles. That would be earth sign. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, several cards coming out there today. Let's get just one or two cards for the Queen of Swords in reverse. Oof, definitely nothing but burdens. It's time to make a plan in a new direction for sure is what Spirit is saying. I see nothing but burdens here. Fool energy with needing to leave a situation. Now we've got the wheel in reverse. Dealing with this situation is only going to continue to dim your light is what I'm feeling with this situation. Um, I feel like you've really been dealing with a lot, whatever it is. It's definitely kept you confused and, and not feeling safe more than anything. You know, Queen of uh, Pentacles in reverse and Queen of Swords in reverse. You know, wow. All right, inner F and peace. What are our messages coming through today for this reading? Too many cards, just a couple, please. What is up with this energy, guys, with these burdens, with these people wanting to cause burdens? It's like, just leave if you don't want to be with somebody, right? Why do you have to, like, constantly, you know, be confusing? You're in this fight or flight energy all the time. Sit down and <laughs> shut up. It's like, stop talking about it. You know, there's nothing, this person isn't listening to you is what I feel. In another, in other words, meditate. So this is a time to get to yourself and really get clear about what's been going on about all of this. If you can't understand what's going on, then you definitely need to stop 
breathe, break that connection, break that energy, and move in a different direction with this full energy. Tame the shit. Tame the shit show by finding calm in the chaos. Absolutely. How do we do that? Sometimes we uh, leave the situation. One word, <laughs> meditate. Here we are again, just needing to get away from this situation. A lot of blue energy coming through. Maybe you've been speaking, you know, over speaking, under speaking. You've been really trying to work with this person to get them to understand what has been going on here. But I don't feel like they want to understand or that they really are invested or care, to be honest with you. All right, so coming out for our last pile here, we have silence your inner critic. Tell that little douchebag voice to pipe down. So you could be having a lot coming through here today. Like, what are you doing? You know, like, why, why are you making this decision? You know, maybe people are trying to burden you with making you think that you're, you know, not, that you're thinking one way when something is another. And it's like that gaslighting energy. So silence your inner critic. Maybe this person's voice continuing to reverberate in your mind and the things that there's, they have said, you know? Maybe that's what you're hearing now as you're trying to move forward and heal your life. Yeah, this is definitely, I feel, um, a person or people who have caused a lot of burdens, you know? On your life and have not allowed you to really express yourself. Uh, or honor your expression, I should say. Embrace, more blue energy coming out here. Through each other, you find the missing pieces, all right? So I don't know if you're in connection with someone right now or you're just having a tough time, it's complicated, whatever the deal may be, but you're gonna figure this out is what Spirit's saying. And you know, you're gonna learn a lot regardless of what choice that you make. So make the one that you feel most drawn to at the moment and you'll be able to know soon enough if it's the right one or if you maybe need to take a different approach blessings to you soul travelers do hit the like button subscribe and hit the bell notification i'll see you soon and bye for now